Well, from the Seahawks game Sunday, a bunch of big plays, but let's look at one in particular. It's third quarter. Seattle just drove down to score a touchdown to make it 14-10. And this is Lofa Tatupu's interception. I want to lay this out. I'll try to do this a little bit more concisely uh, and, and make four kind of bullet points as to why and how this play evolved. And first and foremost, and Pete Carroll told us this on Monday, you're looking at a veteran linebacker who, number one, has an understanding. And a lot of times, young guys get on the field year one, year two, year three, and just try to figure out the defense. Earl Thomas right now at safety, coming out of Texas as a redshirt sophomore, is just trying to make sure he knows what the call is and his assignment is. He doesn't have a bigger understanding of everything that's going on. Lofa Tatupu does and did on this play. He knows first and foremost it's third and one. Secondly, Carolina comes out in a big, heavy goal line offense and the Seahawks match that. They go five defensive linemen, three beefy guys in the middle on third and one, your two ends. You've got Jordan Babineau, they're gonna come out, and most of the time in third and one situ situations around the league, you're gonna see man-to-man -man coverage. Aaron Curry's locked up on the tight end, Lofa Tatupu's gonna be locked up on the fullback, Hawthorne on the, on the H-back, and Earl's gonna be free in the middle. So everybody's locked up man-to-man, -man. Lofa has an immediate understanding, formation-wise, what Carolina wants to do. Secondly, and most importantly, he understands tendency. And when Carolina decides to bring their young guy, Brandon LaFell, in motion, immediately the light bulb goes off on Lofa Tatupu's in Lofa Tatupu's head to say, hold on a second, he's come to motion, he actually peeks over there to see the motion, and he knows what this means. They come in motion for a reason. They come in motion so Brandon LaFell can run a shallow cross. And they run this concept, they clear Y out of there, their tight end, and then they're going to come here and run shallow crosses and man-to-man -man coverage. It's a great call. You run those crossing routes to try to knock guys off of each other and then get your fullback for an easy completion out in the flat, number one, and then come to one of these crossers, number two. Lofa sees that. He sees the motion and sees what's coming. And here's really three and why the play was made. He avoids the rub. And I guarantee you, this wide receiver for Carolina, their receiver coach in Carolina and their coordinator, when they watched this play on Monday, said to Brandon LaFell, listen, when you come in in motion and we bring you tight like that and you're coming in to rub, you can't get out of the way of 51. It is your job to make sure that he has to take a big path around you. LaFell didn't do that. That's a rookie who's just, like I said, understanding-wise, trying to run the right route. And instead of, you'll see a veteran receiver, if that's Keyshawn Johnson, year 12, he's going to come in and know part of my job is not just running the shallow cross, part of my job is making sure that 51 has to change direction, either come underneath me or over the top of me. I can't allow him to avoid the rub because if he does, well, it puts him in a position to do what he did, and that is finish. So LaFell comes in, does not get a piece of Lofa. Lofa anticipates, goes over the top of that rub, comes clean, fullback in the flat, Clausen a step late, touchdown finish, huge touchdown to turn the game, turn the tide, continue to turn the momentum, and Seattle went on to finish the game themselves.